are. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, back with the week two of the fitness podcast for this month. Podcast. 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 My Thank bad. You. Podcast. So here, Roman Wagner and Justin Watkins here with Men of Iron. So yeah, let's get into it. So this week, we're kind of talking about fit for the glory of God. Um, last week, we talked a little bit about just like the overall like theology and just like this holistic, just like why fitness is important and just just kind of like the gospel and how that intertwines and like how you're worth it. And God has like created us in these images of him that is perfection. And, but like we are supposed to, there is a call to action to do something with our bodies. But so, yeah, I just want to get into it right away. Um, kind of really want to focus on first Corinthians ten thirty one this week. Um, just which reads, uh, so whether we eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And just want to break that into two sections. The first section so whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, and Justin, like when you like read that or whenever we think like this, whatever we do, or whether we're eating or drinking or any action like that, like what does that kind of make you think of in terms to like fitness in mm -hmm. particular, or like maybe this holistic fitness aspect? Yeah, I mean, like we said last time, I mean, fitness is is holistic. It's mm -hmm. it's it's so much more than just working out and hitting weights. It's 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 your sleep routines, your stress yeah. management, all those kind of things. Uh, and, and really, uh, you know, this, and this is kind of an all encompassing statement too, mm -hmm. in whatever you do, like it's, it gives a couple of examples, Hey, eat or drink and, you know, context, he's, he's relating it to a conversation about mm -hmm. what food is, is wrong to yeah. eat and sinful. And so he's like, Hey, like, yeah, w we can talk about like the, the sinful food issue, but whatever you do, like whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So, I mean, that <laughs> It includes everything, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's everything. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think the question, like, just for us, like, and I think to myself, like, and something that I've, like, personally had to, like, deal with before, I think, just growing up or even, like, over the past few years, just, few years has just been, like, man, like, do I include it in the whatever I do? And, like, do I think this fitness part or working out or doing any, like, any, like, rec sports or stuff like that, like, oh, is this just, like, just my time? Like, okay, like, I'm away from like family or friends or whatever, like I can just put my headphones in or whatever and just like lock in and like, man, this is just my time to just get away and stuff. But mm -hmm. like, no, am I actually there or wherever it is just to glorify God and to like hopefully bring him glory. So and just kind of mm -hmm. going off like that, like another question, I think like, and just maybe you could answer this personally from your like life and like, why, why do you work out? Like, what is the reasoning for you personally or why do you pursue a life that's like, of wellness and just like like sleeping well trying to sleep well trying to eat well stuff like that like why why for you is like that important yeah i mean i will be first to say that i don't have always the best no. intentions oh, same here. Same <laughs> so here. Like, same here. maybe i yeah. should confess that this is certainly a challenge that um kind of even like we we try to set the table with having a a, a higher view of what fitness is mm -hmm. that one it's part of the gospel so it's part of our mm -hmm. identity in christ mm -hmm. It is about honoring the Holy Spirit that lives in, inside of us, the mm -hmm. temple that we've been given. This is our bodies to, to honor him. So there's that piece. And then there's the, the purpose piece that we talked about last time as well. Like mm -hmm. you have relationships and opportunities, your work, your family, those around you that you're, you've been given gifts and opportunities to serve. So that purpose matters. Uh, and so when I think of like fitness, the ideal is thinking of when I'm doing these physical activities, yeah whether it's rec sports mm -hmm. or it's dominating the JC park That's basketball right. yeah. league Thursday nights, come check us out. If yeah. you're in my <laughs> <laughs> you got a cheering section of yeah, right. rabid fans. Uh, right. on the side. Um, when we're doing these things, do we have the mindset that this is connected to my relationship with the Holy spirit who lives with, within yeah. me and the purpose that he's given me to mm -hmm. serve others? Yeah. I, it's hard to, yeah. it's hard to do that. 100%. Cause I am thinking more, man, I just want to mm -hmm. win this game. Yeah. I just want to hit this rep. I, yeah. it is very hard. I agree. So there are, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I know. I agree. And I think just like you talk about like that important part right there, I think of like serving others, like, so whether we do, and this kind of goes into our next point of like first Corinthians ten thirty one of like doing all for the glory of God. And like, I think one kind of mindset shift that I think God just like definitely like brought in my life for the past few years, like whether it's like sports or like different stuff, like just like working out or whatever, like, like, am I going there? And like, I mentioned this before, like, am I locking in to just kind of doing my own thing or now it's like, okay, am I actually like like the gym is like a place of community and mm -hmm. like the relationships, like whether it's a rec sports league, even if you're like, Hey, if you're into golf or 
anything that like you could just do like like a run club or stuff like that like anything like that like that you can bring like other people into or whatever like and like if you're doing it with other people like you're in community and like can you make other people feel seen and like hopefully like establish a relationship mm-hmm. with them like so it's more than just working out for your own benefit but like man there's like hurting people everywhere you go and like part of the gospel is sharing it mm-hmm. with other people so so how do you I, do that? So yeah, like, so, how do you avoid, yeah. uh, we know this, like there's a lot yeah. of, like, we can name, I mean, I can name them for myself. Yeah. I like the way I look yeah. when I'm in, in mm-hmm. good seasons of working yeah. out. I like the way I feel when I'm mm-hmm. stronger or when I can move my body the way yeah. it's supposed to. Yeah. Um, like it, there's an addictive uh, uh, element to it. Mm-hmm. And I was just, we were just talking about this this morning with, with someone else yeah. on staff, like, man, you get into running or you get into a, mm-hmm. you know, into a basketball league or you're working on a, like a, a goal in, in the mm-hmm. weight room. Like it can be addictive yeah. to like see progress mm-hmm. and, and the experience and there's all the chemical dopamine. Like yeah, there's things sure. that our body yeah, does that draws yeah. us to yeah. it. Yeah. So how do we make like, what's the balance? I guess is my, I'm sending it back to you. Yeah. How do you balance those things that can be, they can become an idol, mm-hmm. which we'll talk about next, next week, but like they can become an idol. How do you avoid that? And focus on, hey, doing mm-hmm. these things also and primarily are for my relationship with Jesus mm-hmm. and other people. Like, how do you yeah. how do you avoid that? Yeah, I think, I mean, the best way for me, like, I think in my life is just like, I mean, one, I think I've seen the consequences of like making yeah. it an idol, so that's always helpful. Um, <laughs> but like, just to see what happens when you do like pursue it for the wrong reasons. But man, like if you're you, at the heart of it, like you have to go back to your relationship with God. Like we talk about our core five Fs and like, faith has to be the center of mm-hmm. everything like everything fitness finances your friends and family all have to stem from like your faith like background like yeah they're all listed together but like if faith and your relationship with god is not the center of that like then we're missing the point like mm-hmm. yeah like if you get one f right i hope it's the faith one mm-hmm. but like anyway just kind of going for that like if you're like jesus came to serve other people and I think like a practical thing for me is like I lead a men's group like Wednesday nights and a small thing that I've tried to do is like whether it's been direct basketball or um, working out the gym or anything like that, like half of those guys or more than half of those guys, actually all of them, I've either played like high school sports with, college sports with, um, or like I go to the workout with them or like we play golf together, stuff like that. Like, like do stuff that you enjoy, like, mm-hmm. and invite people into that, like, that's like a huge thing. Like if you're focusing on serving other people and meeting them where they're at and inviting them into something, like if you're focused on other people, it's going to be super hard to like be focused on yourself and like how you look and different stuff. And like, yeah, like maybe like you're resting between sets and like, maybe it just looks like having like a small conversation or genuinely like asking someone about what they're doing. And sure. Like you, maybe you don't get to a couple sets and you work out or you can't spend as much time there just in general at the gym or whatever you're doing. But like, man, if you make other people, people feel seen in different stuff, like guys, if you're at the gym, like if you go up to another guy and tell him he's looking huge, he'll probably love you for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, like honestly, are we best friends? <laughs> are we best friends? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. it, it reminds me. So, in 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 high school, like f- football was my life in mm-hmm. high school. Yeah, and uh, and we had a really uh, my junior year had a, a huge, a really strong senior class that was leading the way. We we eventually played in the state championship, mm-hmm. um, and, and so I was part of that team. And like it was having opportunities like i knew i was going to have a lot of opportunities mm-hmm. that year um and i remember out of all the years that i played sports it was the year i was most focused on this mm-hmm. making my football efforts mm-hmm. about my relationship with the lord and so mm-hmm. like i remember like again quietly praying in between stretches in between reps and practice mm-hmm. like it was weird like it yeah. was i was like maybe, i don't know it was like the peak of my spiritual maturity <laughs> yeah, in, as a junior in high school yeah um, and it was really what was the way it worked out. Uh, the first game of the year, mm-hmm. I got put in as the starting running back mm-hmm. over the senior running back. Mm-hmm. So like, man, this is exactly yeah. what you want. This yeah. is what you've been training for. Like, exactly. this must be why yeah. I'm, you know, the Lord is blessing me. Yeah. Uh, I got hurt on the first drive, this oh. major high ankle sprain. I like army crawled off the no. field. Like ankles, it was, it was have never been the same. I've <laughs> never been the same as you have seen on the court this summer. Um, but it was interesting because that would have devastated me normally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was planning on playing college ball, mm-hmm. like, and, and it just changed. And mm-hmm. because I was making my physical efforts, 
locked in on what mm-hmm. is the purpose. Like yeah. to me, I was going, I, I'm going to use this as a platform. I'm going to, ha- you know, again, we, we had platform, you know, as being yeah. a good team. Like I want to use that, my relationships, mm-hmm. uh, when the newspapers ask for an inter- like, yeah, again, yeah. it's still like not right. a big deal. I was uh, not I, a I, kind of, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but like that was my focus yeah. going into that season. And that really carried me through a storm that I wasn't expecting yeah. when that football mm-hmm. kind of career yeah. path was derailed for a bit. Yeah. Um, so I, I think being it, like you said, being able to bring it back to who am I serving, mm-hmm people around me and then mm-hmm. ultimately the who god am yeah. i serving god in this or is this all about me and what i'm getting out of it yeah I no i agree good. i think that was really good um yeah i think like just kind of going off that story just like yeah i think like just this is a like, general principle but like i think you like normally like the less we strive and like try to work stuff and like just the less we try to like do stuff on our own you're like man just like kind of surrender it to god and be like like Honestly, it sounds like a dumb thing, but like, just like invite God into it that day. Mm-hmm. Like, I know one yeah. thing that I try to do sometimes, like when I'm like going to the gym or like different stuff, I'm definitely not perfect. I'm not, the goal of this is not to make myself look good. I'm just saying like, you're scared you, that you do look no, good. No, no, well, thank you. But <laughs> anyway, we get <laughs> like, just like when you, when you get to the gym, it's just like, like if you're sitting in the car there or like before like a wreck thing or before you go golfing, like just pray for an opportunity just to like meet a guy or just, just have some sort of interaction. Like, um, there's another book it's called like in a pit with a lion on a snowy day by mark patterson mm-hmm. that um a couple guys recommended for me to read and it's like it just talks about like man if we're praying and if we're looking for opportunities like god's gonna put them in mm-hmm. front of us and like yeah with our fitness and everything we're supposed to be glorifying god and we're supposed to be pointing people to christ so it's like man just pray for opportunities to point people to that and like just like we're supposed to be ready so be ready for those opportunities and it may look like like if you never know like if he might be looking like giving someone a spot or like maybe there's like a little kid struggling with something at like a quarter like just going over or like maybe it's like in your own family it's like inviting like your kids to do something with you or like inviting your wife like hey let's just like it's maybe it's been a long day and you can tell you're both stressed out like just like invite them and it's like hey let's go on a walk or something like time like where you, it's like fitness but it's like super like just low key, yeah, super intentional yeah. and just like low key and just inviting people into it. Yeah. But. You can, you can pray and no matter what in between reps, you know, while you're, I mean, it's just, that's an easy way to, I think to a practical way of like resetting in, in the moments, mm-hmm. am I doing this for me or mm-hmm. am I doing this for the Lord? Mm-hmm. Um, is just being in prayer, like mm-hmm. being able to like have those conversations in your mind. You don't have to be like kneeling at the bench, um, and, and praying, <laughs> but like, yeah. you know, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're talking to him about mm-hmm. it, He's going to show you, mm-hmm. you know, one, reveal things in your own heart that, mm-hmm. man, you're, you're making way too much about the, yeah. this, these goals mm-hmm. in the gym. I want you to be seen, like you said, I want you to be seeing the guys around you mm-hmm. that need, that yeah. need me yeah. and need your purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, so I think that prayer piece and, and having yeah. some of these verses too, I yeah. think these are great. Like I've got a, and, and, and so I've got a garage gym yep. uh, that we work out of. Uh, we've got a poster up on the wall with first Corinthians six nineteen up yeah. there, mm-hmm. uh, which talks, you know, we talked about last week of mm-hmm. your, your body is a temple of the Holy spirit. Like yeah. that is a reminder. Like yeah. I want to remember that, like yeah. why, why I'm here is mm-hmm. not just to look better and feel mm-hmm. good. Like mm-hmm. it is to be closer to the Lord, to mm-hmm. represent him well and yeah. to serve the people around me better. Yeah. So, yeah. And I agree. And also at one point I want to say too, with this is like, yeah, we're not saying like chasing goals or chasing like aspirations or like any sort of accomplishments is bad. Like that's right. not yeah. the case at all. Like that is another way of glorifying God of be like trying to strive and like do the best you can and stuff. And I think even with that, like, it per, like so go chase after like mm-hmm. these dreams. If you feel like it's something that like God's calling you, like I know like some of our guys on the team, like are runners and stuff, or some of them were doing some races. I think one just did one this past weekend. So stuff like that, it's like, man, like, no, like that's awesome. And like, if you're accomplishing these things, like man, still like even in that, like there's an opportunity just to be like, yeah, like, God, thank you. Just, like, thank God for, like, these opportunities to do this and, like, for health and wellness and even just, like, the time and maybe, mm-hmm. like, you've had to sacrifice some time to pursue, like, these, like, I think another guy in that community is doing, like, a 50K race or something. Like, it's just, like, it takes time away from mm-hmm. your family and from your friends and whatever. So, like, yeah, maybe it just looks like thanking your wife or thanking your, yeah, thanking your spouse or different stuff just for, just for, like, hey, thank you for allowing me to pursue this thing that either maybe – it could be something that you feel like God's calling you to do, like that this is honoring towards God, or just maybe it is just something fun that like helps you mentally and whatever. So I think those are just like some opportunities to, 
yeah. do it all for the glory do of it God. All for God. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, just kind of as we wrap up here, I think just kind of a few action steps, like reflect on your why. Mm. Why are you why are you pursuing working out? Why are you pursuing fitness? And like, is it for to glorify yourself or is it to glorify God? Mm-hmm. And then also like, and the, the question with that is like, only you're going to know, like you can mm-hmm. lie to yourself if you want. Like that's <laughs> like, but no, it doesn't normally work out for you. So you could also ask maybe those around you too true. for some objective, that's, that's like you could ask your wife, Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> am I doing this just for yeah, me? Yeah. Uh, you know, am I taking too much time? Like, yeah. You should probably find that out before and yeah. anyway. Yeah. And like, yeah. Why do you work out or why don't you work out? Yeah. Like what is keeping you from doing either side of that? So yeah, I say those are the biggest things right now, but um, yeah. And then I just like encourage you to like, if you're having trouble getting started, like we just want you just to take one step and that's mm-hmm. all it takes sometimes. Um, we have a few things going on right now um, with Men of Iron. So just feel free to check out our website, check out our fitness tab um, on our website. There's a few ways that few small like simple things like less than 30 minutes that can just get you started and like is that on, is on the youtube channel i think it might be as well yeah YouTube channel. Be, we yeah, got yeah. some some video resources there yeah. on fitness yeah. yeah but yeah i'd say those things and yeah justin you got anything to add for this week no i think that's a great takeaway what's your why yeah. i mean we talked about last week what how do you view fitness mm-hmm. you know in general and now builds on that what is your why is it related to the gospel yeah is it related to what we were saying or is it related to other things that you're chasing it's yeah. good Oh, awesome. Well, we'll let you guys go for this week, but um, yeah, please come back next week to talk a little bit about um, idolatry of fitness and yeah, just kind of serving that idol or not and just how to kind of balance that relationship. But no, I hope you guys have a great week and thanks for tuning us out. So, yep. Thanks for listening to the Men of Iron podcast. If you enjoyed that episode, you can go to our website, menofiron.org. You can also like that episode. You can ring the notification bell or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. But again, thanks for listening to the Men of Iron podcast.